Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, haven't done a, a bit of painting at all. <laughs> I was hoping to base coat the um, the enforcer, but I just didn't even do that yet. Will I get to it? Probably not. <laughs> but I did find one of my old technical readout books. I found them all, but I just brought one up to do a video on. Uh, this is Battletech, The Return of Kerensky, Technical Readout Manual um, for the year 3050. Uh, Revised edition. This one's from 1996, pretty much. It's old. Uh, I am fairly confident they reprinted these. I don't know how different they are on the inside for the uh, the newer ones that that have pretty much just come out. But um, I don't imagine it's too different. I looked up using the the box set, the anniversary box set uh, starter game has. Mech record sheets, and these are the quick record sheets. They don't have all the rules on there, but um, stuff like the the, uh, the armor value and everything for the hunchback I looked up were the same, and the uh, a couple of the other ones I looked up were the same. So pretty much, it's the same thing. I guess I just revised it to be more in line with the current rule set. I don't know how much this varies from the current rule set because obviously I didn't play it back then. I just collected it because it was cool. Um, but one thing that the, these technical readout books lack, the ones I own, back from 1990, back uh, from 1996, there we go. Um, they don't have the weapons damage listed with the weapons, so the weapons are listed without damage. I imagine that's because in, I guess, one of the rule books uh, for the game back then, it had a list of all the weapons, uh, like weapon table or weapon chart. But uh, I don't know if the um, the latest current edition of the rules have the same thing. I'm honestly not sure. I found a list of the uh, weapons online, a chart on the Battletech wiki that you can follow. Because, like I showed you in the map record sheet, with this you get the rules of the mech pretty much. It's weapon loadouts and all that. You then have to transfer that to a mech record sheet. You don't really have to, but it makes things so much easier. Um, so you fill out its tonnage, its movement points for walking, running, jumping, if it, ha if it has jump jets, um, its armor value, its internal structure value, and all that. So when you're doing that, you can look up, you can bookmark, for example, the weapon chart link, go there, and look up, okay, what's the large la uh, laser's um, damage and range and whatnot, and put it in there. Not the biggest deal, a minor hassle, but not that big of a deal. Do the new technical readout books have that in there? I want to say they should, or they do, or at the very least they should. I don't know if they do, though. But just to show you um, what's inside, you got credits, the contents over here, and then this is the introduction. I'm going to go into the clans here. But um, the game notes, the introduction is written kind of like in line with the fluff. So it's uh, dated like 3058 and all that and whatnot. But this book's meant to be used with the 4th edition game. This is back from 1996, I believe. Um, and with City Tech 2nd edition and Battletech Compendium, The Rules of Warfare. So, it's an older book. It can still work though. I looked up the stats, like I said, for the Hunchback and everything. And they're pretty much in line. So, it'll work. And you have some fluff. And you have fluff on the elementals. And then you get right into the mechs. Now, um, here's a, actually, let's go to one that's really iconic. Here's an iconic mech, and this is how the technical readouts work for the clans at the very least on, um, on this one. You have it. Me a mech at Clan Omni Mech, its overview, its capabilities, and its deployment. Then you have fluff um, technical readouts here. And then you get um, into the game readouts. And you can see it's really called the Timberwolf, but the industry are designated as the Mad Cat. It's a Clan Omni Mech, it's tonnage, you get its walking movement points, its running movement points, its heat sinks, its internal structure and armor value for, every, uh, for all the uh, parts of it. And then um, some more technical stuff, and then its weapons. As you can see, they don't tell you the damage or the range. They tell you the location though, which is, all, which is important. And you get a picture of the mech. So
So that's how all the mechs are. Inner Sphere, same thing, only mechs maybe are drawn in different posing. But same, same deal. We'll flip over to the uh, Panther. This is a light mech. You get your uh, overview. Then you get your uh, fluff technical readouts. And then you get the ones you need for the game. Movement points, armor value, um, <clears throat> and his weapons. And then the way this goes is this: they separate it by clan and inner sphere, and then they separate that more by light, medium, heavy, and assault. Which, by the way, the hunchback is a medium mech. Which I knew, I just kept saying it as a heavy, and I, I think I said it once it's a heavy mech, meaning the class, which I was wrong there, because I knew it was a medium, but I meant they're, they're a heavy mech, meaning they're heavier. There's light, then there's heavy, and they're on the high end of heavy. Um, that, both the Enforcer and the Hunchback, they're both 50 tons, which is pretty much the upper limits of the medium mech world. So, um... They're not heavy in class, but they're heavy in terms of just their weight, in terms of for mechs. Uh, but not not the class. The class is broken up by weight categories, and it's light, medium, heavy, and assault. So you have all that, and here we get into a heavy mech, the Orion. And then we get into vehicles. And not all the technical readout books, but some of them have vehicles, and some of them even have some aircraft. Which I think this one does uh, somewhere. Well, that's a mech. There you go, here's a vehicle. There's an aircraft, a little helicopter type of thing. Um, some of them are just aerotech technical manuals, some of them are spaceship uh, technical manuals, but a lot of them are just are mechs with some vehicles thrown in there. So, just wanted to show you this old technical read up book. This is kind of how they're they're structured. I imagine they're, re they're reprinted, updated 3050 books because um, I've seen them. I think they have a different cover and everything. Um, would be the same type of layout, maybe just with updates in terms of giving you weapon damage and all that. But again, I don't know. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. So until next time, take it easy.